is a human grooming disorder that is PCOS. So today in this presentation, I will give the basic introduction about my project, our work plan, timeline, extraction method, analysis method, and the challenges that we had to face throughout our project timeline, and what we will do next. So first, we I give you the basic introduction about our project. So our project's main goal is to identify an ideal and most productive method to extract the aloe ammonia, which will help to cure the movement disorder, PCOS. And what is PCOS? Uh, PCOS is a polycystic ovarian syndrome. It is the most common hormonal problem in most of the women. And the main symptoms of this problem is weight gain, excessive hair growth, irregular periods, and so on. And most of the women around the world face this problem because of some environmental changes and lifestyle changes. Due to this, our project's goal is to uh, make a herbal product from a natural health product. Because throughout our research, we found that there is not a particular treatment for this problem available in the market. There are some birth control and pharmaceutical products are available, but uh, that all are the chemical-based products, which also affect the women's health. That's why in our project we use aloe vera because aloe vera is a natural health product. And we found that this problem is only cured by our anti-inflammatory component and aloe vera contains some anti-inflammatory components that is aloe amodin and anthurna. And what is aloe amodin? Aloe amodin is a dihydroxy anthraquinone which has been isolated from the plant species who has a genus aloe. And in our project, we detect the aloe amodine by using an isomer of aloe amodine. Yeah. And next, we are talking about our work plan. As I earlier said, our project goal is the extraction of aloe amodine through different extraction methods. That's why in our project, we use three extraction methods. Coxlet extraction, sonication extraction, and extraction at room temperature by using ethanol. And for the analysis of the presence of the aloe amodine in our extract, we use FTIR and HPLC. And this is our timeline. We, will, we had to face so many changes in our timeline to our, throughout our project time. But here is the basic timeline of our project. In the first five weeks, we found the exit solvent for our extraction methods and we used ethanol as our extraction solvent and perform three different extraction methods that I earlier said that is a coxlet extraction, sonication extraction and extraction at room temperature by using ethanol. And from the next six to <coughs> seven weeks, we weigh our yield that we got from the extraction method and perform HPLC and FTIR for the analysis, uh, analysis of the aloe amodine in our extract. And in the next weeks, we compare all the methods that we use in our extraction method and come on one conclusion. Thank you. And the next slide will be explained by Harshil. Good afternoon, folks. My name is Harshil and I am one of the members of the Dana Health product. Today, I will explain you for the project. And for the first, I will let you know, doing any project uh, will, uh, without the goal won't be like the uh, like won't be justified so for the our project we have like goal to solve the problem of PCOS and for the further project I will uh, tell you why we use the ethanol solvent so for the first like we decided to select uh, two solvent one was the ethanol and the other one was the dioxide but uh, Ethanol was like uh, very easy, easy it, it was easily able to like uh, dissolve our uh, our aloe vera gel and it was like also helpful for the bioactive compound. Moreover, it is like uh, we were using this uh, yield to do the health product. So we were like uh, planning to do as much as low toxicity level of it so that it can, uh, it, it won't like affect any health. And moreover, So moreover, like uh, we selected total three method of the extraction. Firstly, I will let you know like what's the extraction. So like uh, we were planning to do the health product. So 
uh, for that we were like uh, require uh, a good amount of yield uh, that has like all the active uh, ingredients in it. So for that we have selected total three methods: shock slit extraction, room temperature extraction, and the sonication sonication extraction. So to avoid any like the uh, uh, to, uh, to get the good uh, data analysis, we were like, uh, we plan to do like total three sets of each extraction and we have like uh, given uh, like two weeks of time for each extraction. So for that, uh, we have selected the ethanol as the solvent and like we did first uh, one gem 10 uh, ratio of the sol uh, solvent. But it wasn't useful at all because uh, it, it was like uh, dissolving the our aloe, aloe vera gel into like uh, ethanol and we were not able to get uh, any good yield that we can later on use for qualitative and quantitative analysis. So with the help of uh, Professor Virendra Hathikari and uh, Margaret, we decided to uh, do the 1 gem 6 ratio of it and it was very useful so like we have selected like 20 grams of the aloe vera gel and uh, 140, uh, 140 of the ethanol and uh, we, we firstly uh, like uh, because uh, we tried 1 gem 10 ratio so we were like already wasted our two weeks so we did like shock slit extraction and the room temperature extraction simultaneously and uh, for the shock slit extraction like we were not able to get the proper uh, proper equipment for that like uh, for example we have like did the uh, we like uh, uh, we were not able to get the proper thimble for our glassware and sometimes also like uh, 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 a good temperature controller because of that like we were not able to like get the good uh, yield of it because aloe vera gel is like uh, very sensitive uh, sensitive to the heat and it like uh, it sometimes it uh, got decomposed because of the heat control so i uh, so for that i think if we have like a good equipment like uh, uh, a good uh, temperature controller we can like justify the method and uh, might increase our yield and uh, for the later on, we also did the room temperature extraction. It, it was like uh, making uh, tea or like making, uh, like uh, dissolving the sugar. So like uh, we have selected the same ratio, one gem of six, and uh, we, uh, we took 20 ml of like the aloe vera gel and 140 of the ethanol. Uh, comparing to the shock slit extraction, I can say that the room temperature uh, method was very good because it didn't, didn't like decompose any of the aloe vera gel and we later on did the sonication as extraction it was not the equipment that we were like looking for but it, it was like uh, useful for like our project uh, here is the clip of the sonication so as you can see it, it was like using the frequency of vibration and the heat to like uh, do the extraction uh, next slide and like we were like did total nine sets of extraction like three of each and later on to get the more yield we we did the pure purification with the rotor evaporation it is a machine that use the temperature and uh, pressure to get the to evaporate the ethanol and get the like very focused and concentrated extraction. Uh, the temperature, uh, like the boiling, uh, like the evaporating temperature for the ethanol was like 78, but it was using the pressure. So we were like able to get our practical done like within around 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. And uh, at that time, like we were like, uh, when, when we did the rotor evaporation, uh, it was like totally manual. Uh, it was totally automatic so uh, after like uh, completing the ex experiment like we did like uh, did uh, uh, labeling and uh, when we when we like put it all the yields together it was like able, we were like uh, pretty much sure that the room temperature extraction uh, and the sonication was like giving a good heat and further on like uh, quantitative quantitative analysis will be explained by Manu. Thank you. <coughs> Hello everyone, myself Manav Patel, 
one of the members of our company. Here I would like to talk about the weak field which we obtained from three different methods. Here is the uh, table from the grouping information using, using two key methods, 95% confidence. So you can, as you can see, the so sonication method is one of the best method out of the three method. As the mean will out, we did a three same uh, three extraction of each. So for a mean value of the sonication is a 76. Uh, as a factors, we use the sonication, room temperature, and shock select, and the uh, variance are our yield, uh, room temperature, and uh, shock select extraction. I like uh, quite similar but room temperature is little bit more better than succulent as you can see they are sharing the each, uh, same group according to the 2p comparison method and the sonication is the a, a grouping uh, here is the picture of the room temperature extraction succulent extraction which is very low and uh, sonication extraction uh, here is the statistical analysis of our yield obtained uh, here is the interval plot. As I show you in the previous slide, the mean value of the sonication is 76, while the room temperature is a 61, and the shock is a 54 or 55. So it is the overall plot of the our yield obtained, and based of this and this chart, uh, we can say that the sonication is the best method. Uh, here we use a uh, ultrasonic sound uh, sonication instead of that if we use a uh, uh, more modified and upgraded sonication we will definitely sure like we get a very good amount of yield in terms of a quality HPLC the HPLC high performance liquid chromatography is the one of the powerful technique analytical technique to identify separate and quantify the uh, sample and the mixture in the mixture. So uh, we use uh, HPLC for uh, aero amodine to isolate the aero amodine from the mix. Uh, uh, so many mixture compounds. Uh, for the uh, HPLC, we inject the our sample into the so into the HPLC and the, uh, then it passes through the column. Right? Then at the end, it compare. Uh, HPLC is uh, one of the machine used to, to separate the uh, in needed compound which is uh, aloe amodine we compare it with our standard amodine as we did not get uh, able to get uh, aloe amodine standard so we use isomer of 8 which is uh, aloe amod uh, which is uh, amodine we use a C8 in reverse phase column is being used uh, Standard sample are present in a concentration of 110, 55 ppm, 25 ppm, and 7 ppm. Uh, reference samples are made of uh, our reference samples are made of 1000 ppm in uh, which 2 mg of yield of uh, uh, amodine is used with the 2 ml of uh, methanol. The run time is set with, uh, for a standard is a 16 minute, which is uh, developed by our professor. Margaret Carter. Uh, firstly, the uh, sample are being run after the calibration. We did some standard run, then after the end, we run our samples to compare it. Uh, and the data in analysis are produced, which is uh, uh, discussed by uh, our group member Alisa. So you heard the part how and why. So I am explaining what. So Aman told you that why we are doing it and Harshil and Manam told you how we did it. Now what it is. So the results forms standard run of emodine that we have a sample of 110 uh, ppm is this curve at 6 minutes retract, uh, retention time and these are the trial run of soaplet extraction of the sample we get. So we, here we get a small curve that is at 6 minutes for the re uh, retention time. So what it explains is that, that this compound is totally pure and it is 100% pure so uh, that's why the peak is so clear. But in our compound we use ethanol and uh, ethanol contains benzene and other products and aloe vera. Aloe vera has many other ingredients, active ingredients and it is also concentrated. 
so that's why but the peak is very small because it is not pure at all it might be 10% or it might be 5% it depends on the yeast but the yeast also is not um, uh, properly evaporated so i can say that we uh, are able to quant uh, qualitatively identify alloy modin in that but we are not able to quantify it so we uh, also did fpir to search about the functional group to quantify it uh, in our aloe uh, aloe uh, aloe vera extract so what we get is these two so this is the fornication extraction so uh, in between 1500 to 2000 we get these curves we show that only a uh, carboxylic groups are, are present and uh, from here we are getting like mixed signals of oh group so over here we also get like we do not get any carboxylic groups properly as in the fornication one which we get in soft plate and here we get oh group so it is like it is like evident that only quinol is present because it is visible in both of the extraction and for the carboxylic groups we can't say anything because it is not uh, totally evident in both as compa comparison of the both of the forms so what we find that quinol is more visible in the aloe uh, aloe vera extract that that might be due to the presence of methanol Uh, as we use methanol and ethanol as the um, uh, used in ethanol is used in uh, extraction and methanol is used as the uh, pr uh, preparation of the reference sample so that's all for fpir so what are the challenges we face so every challenge may, uh, you face today makes you stronger tomorrow the challenge of life is intended to make you better not get better so what are the challenges firstly it is unavailability of the proper equipment so the thing is that when we perform extractions there is a proper uh, time limit for the extraction if we performed it more so we may extract the more active ingredients present or if we extract it less we may be getting the more of the solvent in it so it takes more time to evaporate so we uh, we have only 4 months to do a uh, not exactly total 4 months some few weeks to perform it so to design it we need to be we may need to have more time so time and equipment is the most important factor factor for these kind of experiments and other thing for the rotovap if we have to extra uh, evaporate our um, uh, solvent from our extract so what we have to do we have to filter it completely but the rotovap we have to wait for it for 2 weeks so already some uh, we lost our lot of time and then we got manual rotovap that we have to set it up and uh, it takes like lot of time to set it up first and after that we got permission to use the automatic one then we used it then for the uh, um, um, sonification um, extraction we need the reactor uh, sonification machine that is not present and instead we use sonication ultrasonic sonicator so the thing is the vibration per uh, so used by both of the uh, reactors are different so that's why our results are not exactly that we uh, imagine and other thing hplc got delayed for one week because uh, we are we have to use the isomer of aloe modin that professor margaret has uh, given had given us but it take too much time to uh, set up the method and everything so that would delay our experimentation so what's next next so the thing is ma we we want to quantify our uh, yield so that's why for next thing we have to use microwave ex uh, assisted extraction and super critical fluid extraction these both are the good methods and small scale methods so we can do it perform it in lab uh, so for the super critical one what it did it did um, it separates the solvent and the plant um, active ingredients by just passing a super critical fluid from through it so why these methods are uh, used because these are effective efficient and ensure the high yields they are relatively simple and straightforward to perform they are gentle and do not cause damage to the plant material ensuring that the quality of extract is not compromised they can easily scaled up for industrial production they are cost effective making them suitable for both small scale and large scale extraction and for analysis we are going to use gcms that is gas chromatography mass spectrometry why we use it because it is a uh, good technique for 
volatile and semi volatile compounds and as we know ethanol is like volatile compound and aloe vera uh, as we say that we have to extract it with a lot of care because when we uh, store it like at 25 degree, below 25 degree fahrenheit or minus 4 degree celsius it would degrade so these are if we store the ex, uh, extract at the same conditions that would also degrade so that why gc uh, ms is a highly sensitive and selective technique to analyze these kind of extracts thank you that's all for the presentation thank you